responded, obviously, three home runs given up in the third, but after that, he really locked in. What, what did you see from him? Today? Well, the breaking ball got better. I think that, uh, you know, the first couple innings, inconsistent breaking ball. And then, you know, from the fourth through the sixth, you know, the breaking ball much improved, the slider and the curveball. Fastball command was better. Uh, ball was down. Uh, he was able to get the ball at the knees and below. So that's what I saw. It is June right now, but you have a game like this, all kind of twists and turns, a big crowd. Did it feel like, hey, not necessarily a must win, but something that you can draw? This was a good game. Now. I think any time you, you, know, you have a game like this, it, it, it breeds confidence. You know, no doubt about it, against a good club. I mean, we just played these guys last week in a, you know, some good games uh, in Chicago. So anytime you play, you know, a team like this uh, in this atmosphere, uh, it can really, you know, give you some momentum moving forward. I mean, we know that we can, I've said it all year, and our guys believe it, we can play with anybody in our league. So, and, and this just sort of goes to prove it. That's been the longest homer in MLB this year. What looked like from the dugout? What was your action? That was a big one. Uh, that's the longest this year? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. 486. I and that was pretty long too the other day too. Like 10 feet short of that. Is that right? Yeah, the ball was crushed. It was a hanging breaking ball. Desi put a good uh, swing on it. Desi's got strength. I mean, that's, that's awesome. I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad you told me that. I'm glad that's a stat cast record. How about just the way he's played the last three or four weeks? I mean, instead of him bouncing back from where it was to start the season. Well, you know, everybody started slow to start the year, right? I mean, you look at, uh, you know, the group in general. I mean, that's probably, you know, the biggest reason why we got off to the slow start. And now, you know, since the slow start, you know, our offense has picked up. I think we're, I think we're leading the National League in runs scored. You know, I think we're right behind the Dodgers in batting average and, you know, a lot of the offensive statistical categories we're, we're doing fine. But, you know, so many guys have, have, you know, elevated their game since the first couple of weeks. And, you know, Desi's right in that group too. So, and he's doing, you know, he's doing his part, you know, obviously, uh, you know, playing his game. And he's got, you know, he's got a homer in his game. He's got, you know, he's got, a, even though he has one stolen pace, but there's a speed element and, a, and an energy to his game that, you know, we all like. You guys saw him last week, but what were the feelings around having Cargo back at Coors Field? Well, you know, Cargo's a great Rocky. You know, he'll, you know, when, you know, when his career is over, whenever that is, you know, I think he'll probably always be remembered as a Rocky. I, you know, I love the uh, response that our fans gave Cargo, the little tribute uh, prior to the game. Our organization did a nice job with the video tribute. Uh, you know, the ovation. You know, I think our guys know how important Cargo was. You know, the, the guys who were here and even the guys who were with Cargo prior, uh, you know, to, you know, early Cargo, realized what a great teammate he was and, you know, the leadership aspect of Cargo. So, you know, it was, it was fitting uh, what happened, you know, when he, when, he, when he came to bat and, you know, prior to the game as well. Buddy, this is one of the first games we've seen in a while where, where the bullpen formula was seven, eight, nine. How, how proud are you of this group and how well they've been? Well, the bullpen's done a nice job all year, Spilly. I think we talked about it, you know, pregame. You know, somebody asked the question, I think, uh, about our bullpen. I think Nick did. And, uh, you know, as, as a group, collectively, to have a good bullpen, all eight guys have to do their thing. And, and it starts with, you know, even in losses, you know, yesterday Chad came in and gave us two and a third innings. Estevez you know, pitched a clean inning. We didn't have to use anybody else. We kept guys fresh. I mean, I, I mean, it, it all works game to game to game to game. A couple more. And, uh, and today, you know, Hyro did a nice job. Uh, you know, they nicked uh, Scotty for a run after the leadoff walk. But, you know, Wade, uh, you know, collected the save. But, you know, Brian Shaw's pitched, pitched well. I mean, Jake's, you know, I think Jake's starting to hit his stride. You know, Estevez has been, you know, again, for the most part, uh, effective, you know, down the line of all the guys. We need them all because, you know, every, every inning, every out is important, regardless of the type of game it is, because it affects the next one and the, and the next one after that. As far as frequency, usage, pitches saved, all those things that, that keep a bullpen fresh, 
and the performance aspect of a bullpen depends on every guy's outing. So, and I'm proud of our guys, and I think, like we, like we said today, our bullpen's doing a nice job. From, you know, from game one to, what well, I, I don't even know what game we played today, but uh, they've done a nice job. But to get Davis back to be in the ninth inning, that lets you put the whole book well, put it together? It, 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 well, it just, you know, it gives us a better opportunity to, to get guys in there prior to Wade. I mean, you've got to have talent, right. and, and Wade's talented. So the more talented pitches you have, the better off you're going to be.